Hey, it's 5.15 or something in the morning here in Atlanta, and uh, we're on the set of Walking Dead. I just got out of makeup. I'm ready to go bite some people right after I have some coffee. I had to actually audition my zombie walk in front of two of their like zombie pros, and they wanted to make sure I didn't look like I was all, Ur, brains. They had to make sure I wasn't gonna be like that. Background walkers. And action. It's not two separate entities, it's, it's a complete crew. I mean, we're all part of the same team. We all work together, we all communicate with each other. We need to know here in LA exactly what they need there. I get a phone call for the next episode and we'll discuss it and try to figure out the best ways. And the guys on set, Greg will give me their opinions as to how we get it done. When we started that process for Scott's makeup, we wanted it to feel in the world of the walkers that we've done, but also a hint of him in it. Since he's a high profile guy, we probably want to not completely cover up who he is. A little accenting of this stuff, I might have brought his bone structure down to try to make it more gaunt. You know? But a lot of the times we like to use the same piece for different things. So we try to figure out how to build things so that they're universal, because uh, there's so many zombies we try to really maximize the use of all of our pieces. Every appliance that they make for The Walking Dead, everything is photographed, numbered, and put into a catalog. So basically all the guys have to do on set is thumb through the catalog, take a look, see what they want, and it all goes down as a number. Call us up, say we need four of 124, six of 132, and it's, it's kind of, you know, like shopping. We all have been together for so long that we kind of know how each other thinks and we can finish each other's sentences. So here we are and we're Sonoya, Monday morning, very early. We just got back after the season five premiere in Los Angeles and we got a trailer full of walkers and camera crews and it's finally cold out in Atlanta. All of the prosthetics are made in LA. Get them delivered right here to set. And we just open the boxes and unload them into the trailer and they're there for the picking. Hi guys. We have a scene with five walkers and I want to sort of just work out uh, the choreography in terms of assigning which walker to, to which bit. This is Alex. He's a professional zombie. <laughs> How many different walkers have you played? Probably close to 50 now. Wow. When you're playing like different walkers throughout, like the directors tell you walk like this, do this, do that. It's usually uh, Greg or Jake or right. someone's telling me lift your head up, move your teeth more, look scary. <laughs> so did you have to go to like zombie school or did you just learn on the job? Just learned on the job. I've never been to zombie school. <laughs> Everyone moves a little bit different. You know, the one rule is no Frankenstein. Of course, don't, yeah. Don't do this. Yeah. This has been like it's one of those things, that I, I, I read the comic, you know, I started reading Walking Dead when it came out, and then the show came on, and I'm a massive fan of the show, I realized Greg's a part of it, you know, it just, I just felt like, from the start, you know, I was always just, well, God damn, it would be the coolest fucking thing if I could ever, you know, get to be a, a walker, and I got to do the webisode thing, and that was awesome, and then I remember Greg telling me at one point, like, you know, every, everyone in the business wants to come be a walker, so we kind of put a, just put the kibosh on all of that. I figured oh, at least I got to do the webisodes, and that's cool enough. It's just, I didn't think it would ever happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm a mess. <laughs> you know, out? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be out, See you out there. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm making the costume match uh, the, the, the prosthetics that the makeup effects guys put on them. So he's got all this big, nasty, gnarly stuff back here, and really nice, clean lines on his costume when that just doesn't work. You know, it's karma because uh, last time I was at Greg's shop, I killed a zombie with a pipe, and now I guess that's going to happen to me. So everything, everything comes back around. <laughs> so I'm on set now. Greg's going to tell me what to do. I'll just wait for him to tell me. My buddy does what he does and does it the best. He couldn't be cooler about it and, and uh, 
obviously if I couldn't do it and if I sucked at it, I don't think he would have asked me back again to be a part of the big show. Looks good? Yeah, you're good. Actually, I thought of you as something different. Scott. Scott. Andy. Chandler. 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 Like, just to see Andrew Lincoln standing there, like, it's like, we've been watching with the show for seemed, well, since the beginning, but it seems so much longer. Like, I feel like this show's been part of my life longer than it's actually been on television, so... It's just surreal to be standing here watching Andrew Lincoln kill walkers. And I'm going to be one of them. Greg told me I, I come out from, there's a big pile of junk over there. Andrew Lincoln's going to have his back to it. And I guess I kind of grab. Tuck, Tuck your out, hands Scott. in, Scott. Yeah. Retract. Yeah. I, I'm already kind of in a shitty frame of mind down there because it's, it's wet. They put carpeting in to make it, I guess, nicer than being on dirt, but it's all wet and kind of soggy, and so it's easy to get in a shitty frame of mind. I hear Andy say his line to Carl, get ready. I hear him say that, and I'm just so, like, just that voice from the show, and I'm in my brain, and I'm just like, Almost like I'm ready to kill walkers, but I'm on the opposite side. But it definitely gets me motivated when I hear him say that. I just, I mean, Greg would never let it go if it didn't look right. So on the second take, he said, once you're out there and you crawl out there and you're all, he's like, just be more snarly, just, you know, bigger, more zombie. Ah. You got all that, right? The more direction he gave me, the better, you know. Then it's it's kind of easy. You just step, 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 and then you're done. But yeah, it, was, it was awesome. I'm in no rush. You're in no rush to crawl back into the pile of No, garbage? I'm in no rush to be done. <laughs> I'm just so, so fucking excited to be a part of it. It's like, oh, I can't believe. I'm like, I'm in that little dirty hole down there going, I'm in The Walking Dead right now. It's fucking crazy. Scott. Go it again. You okay, Scott? Yeah. No, it's fine. All right, go it again, Scott. How was your day? Amazing. I was just telling them it's like, it's just better than I even could have imagined. Like, it's so fucking cool. Well, we've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah, and I, but I always figured I got to do the webisode and that's amazing. That's so awesome, but now to get to be a part of like the show. You gotta be in a scene with Rick Grimes. Yeah. I mean, that's... A lot of times it's like they're like the walkers are like 200 feet away and somebody goes and they fall. Right. I wanted yeah. more for you. Thank you so much. In a weird way, you know how they always there's a thing like no, no, unless you have a picture, it didn't happen. Well, I got a shit ton of photos, and the fact that this shit's gonna air it's <laughs> on so AMC, and I'm gonna be all freeze frame. Scott's been thinking about this moment since he was seven years old, the first time he saw Night Living Dead, exactly. as as are most of the fans who who really want to be a part of it. It's you know, I always use that analogy. You're either the person with the hairbrush in front of the mirror singing, or you're practicing your zombie walk. Everyone just seems to really enjoy what they're doing, being a part of this, which why wouldn't you? Like, you're on the biggest show on TV, and it's a fucking zombie show. The things that playing guitar in a metal band, the doors that that's opened for me in my life is fucking nuts. It's just been an unbelievable experience. I kind of feel like, the Make-A-Wish guy is going to come walking here any moment and go, and by the way, you're dying. Hey guys, when we come back so, hope you had fun. <laughs>